Okay guys, now this is experimental, right? Because I have never done this before. Um, oh, stir sticks. Okay, we got the stir sticks. Um, I think I'm gonna do this in a couple of pours. So I'll have to um, sort of uh, stick the videos together. That's okay. Let's see if we can get the lids off the resin. Um, how much resin shall we use? Let's see. Not too much. I don't want to do too much. Oops. See how that works. That's number one. And that is exactly five. Oh, these lids are stuck on sometimes. Don't know how that happens. Okay. And now the other half. Oops, where's the tin? Okay. Oops, that's enough. Okay, now we have to stir this up a little bit, as you can see. Uh, someone said, you know, does your um, resin go all milky and cloudy? I think what you're, you're seeing is all these little air bubbles in there. They, uh, once you torch it, they will uh, be gone. So don't worry about that. Now I'm going to put some of that resin in with the sand. And see if I can mix it up. Oh yes, that works perfectly. Because I want to uh, do some sort of a, it has to be a little beach scene. And I want some of the sand poking out of the water because that's, you know, making it a little bit more realistic. A little bit more. Okay. That should work. Okay, let's put that in. That's a nice blob of sand. Let's see. But we do have to make it that there can be some more resin on top, you know, the, the color. I'm starting to talk really quietly because <laughs> I'm really focusing on what I'm trying to do. Let's see. That sort of looks cool. And of course, this is going to lighten up again because um, the resin is going to dry. So there we have the uh, that little bit of sand that I was talking about. Well, maybe I'd like it a little bit more spread out up here. Okay, that should work. It really levels out kind of uh, cool. So, okay, we have the sand. Now, we have to place a few little tiny, really beautiful, I'll, I'll take the really nice ones. I had a pincette here. Yes, I do. Here we go. Put that in there. And then a little white one. And a light, light little one like that. Oops, don't fall over. Ooh, I don't want you pointing that way. I want you turning around. Well, okay. Then, ooh, this brown one. This one's nice. Place that one right there. Okay, you don't want to overdo it because, you know, don't really like overdoing it. Now, for the uh, color, um, I was thinking, uh-oh, I'm not sure what to do. So I got my uh, liquid watercolor. And I know that these two don't mix, you know, water and resin don't mix, but I was thinking maybe I don't need that much and it's going to work. So I'm really putting on a little dash and it works. That's cool enough because you really don't want it too um, uh, opaque. You got to see th right through it. So let's pour on the first little. Ooh, that's really pretty. 
And we can always pour on a little bit more if we don't like the color. There you go. Ooh, that's starting to look really cool. I really like that. Okay, I think this for the first, look at that, isn't that cute? So for the first layers, this is gonna be okay. I'm gonna stop right here because um, I'm gonna let, let this harden. And then when it's hard, I'm gonna put another uh, layer of uh, resin on top. Oh, I do have to get rid of those little air bubbles. There we go. And um, I'm gonna put another layer of uh, tinted resin on top of this. Then I'm gonna try and make a little, um, the little frothy white stuff on here, but that's gonna be really difficult, but I don't care. I, I just wanna try it. But right now it's looking kinda cute. Only the blue sort of, because I like the blue in the back, not all, all the way in the front, but eh, it's okay. I can live with this. So I'm going to stop the video, clean this stuff up, and um, I'll be back with uh, the second pour in a bit. So thanks all for watching. See you in a bit. Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm all set up. Um, I already mixed my resin. This is the little C in the shell. Uh, what I do need is something to level it out. Let's see. Oops. almost spilled some paint. Yeah, that's that's okay. That works. Now, um, what I'm going to do is add another layer with a little bit of blue in it, but I'd like a different shade. That's purple. Well, we'll just take this color. I think this is pretty much the same as we used yesterday. But it has to be really um, subtle because it, otherwise it'll get too dark. So I'm gonna, yeah, this is another color. That's nice. You want a couple of shades. See that, that's just like half a drop and already it's really nice and blue. That's nice. Okay, so we're gonna put that on in the back here and let it level out. Now I know a lot of people are uh, waiting for this uh, for this video, but um, I wasn't aware that I'm going to have to do this in I don't know how many uh, different takes because this one this I want to just let it level out like this, and I can see it doing that. And what it does is it colors the back just a little bit more than it does the front, although. I'm looking on the monitor. Maybe it'll be better when I upload the video, but I really see the gradual deepening of the color and I sort of like that. But if you want to do it even more than that, even deeper, just put another drop of uh, resin on, stir it in, and that way your resin will be even darker. So because I'm seeing it not going totally to the edge, I'll just add just one little bit more of this in the back. That's about it. That's about all we need. Okay, now we're there. This I'm gonna let dry again. And then I'm gonna come in with, um, oh, but I do need to have it level a little bit more out than it does now. I think that's about it. So I'm going to come in with some uh, white. I was going to do it right away, but I, I'm, I'm not thinking that this is going to work. And someone else uh, on, the, uh, on my channel had a really nice idea. Here I have a tiny little shell, and when I open it, look, there's a little pearl inside. 
There it is, a little pearl. <laughs> oh, we don't want it with the holes showing on the front because then we'll know it's not real, right? But I'm gonna, <laughs> well, it's not real because pearls don't grow in shells like this, but it does look kind of cute. So, um, I, oh, now I almost pulled the lid off. So I'm gonna put that one here on the side. Oh, we do have to turn it around a little bit because otherwise we can't see it. So I'm gonna turn it like that. And it's gonna be, let me see if I can get you to focus a little better. We're gonna put that little thing right there on the side. And it has this nice little open shell. And when you look inside, you see this cute little pearl. But I am gonna put drop some resin in it so that the pearl sticks. So there you go. And it has to be a little bit fixated on the uh, back side because otherwise it'll just close shut and we won't see anything. Oh, that looks good. Let's open it up a little bit more and shove the pearl to the foreground. That's it. Now it needs a little bit of resin on the back. So shit, it stays open. Oops. Yes, open up a little bit. Oh, it's so tiny, so very, very tiny. But I want it to turn around a little bit. Yeah, I like this. Maybe if I push it down a little bit. Every time I touch it, it starts turning. I don't want it to turn too much. There you go. It's really very, very small stuff I'm doing. Oops. Okay, that's it. That's kind of cute. Now I can see the pearl. Okay, we're going to let this uh, dry. And then I'm going to add white. And then I'm going to do what I was planning on doing like weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Uh, make those little like reflections in the water. So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to put it in the sun. Maybe that'll help. I see a lot of bubbles though. They're all sort of bursting on the top. There you go. Ooh, that helped flatten it out a little too. Okay, we're ready. So, I'll be back with the final layer in about, well, you'll see. <laughs> okay, guys, in a bit. See you later. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, I, I still really, I'm not really liking it. Because the blue sort of faded a little bit. I did add a l tiny little bit of glitter. But maybe it'll just be okay. Who knows. Okay. Let's just get on with it. Because it's taking a really long time. So what I want to do is get some extra resin in a different cup. Like that. And then I have to find something that's transparent white. So I'll be using a drop of uh, ink, got to shake it up. This is just uh, Liquitex uh, ink. I'll put one drop in there, I think, or two. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, it's pretty creamy. This is two drops, that, that'll be enough. Okay, now what you do is you pour it on. And I know you're thinking, ah, oh, you can't see anything. That's right. 
There we go. And now, first we have to get rid of all the bubbles. Don't smack it too hard, or it just might, you know, crack the shell. I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's that. Then I really need to add a little bit more of the glitter, I think. That's enough. And now is the thing I was talking about, that technique. Let me get it a little bit more covered. It's going all over the place, which is good. Okay. Now let's see if I can do this, or I might have to take some of this off, I'm not sure. But what they do is get a tiny little thing like a toothpick, get your resin on it, and drop that in. And already you can see what I'm trying to get is those really nice little bits that resemble the reflections of the water but you'll have to do it really fast see that that's cute some bigger some smaller And now I'm thinking I don't have enough resin for all these little drops. But I need some more around those little shells that I put in or you won't see the shells. So uh, to get this effect, all you have to do is um, put a really thin layer of colored resin with uh, white or maybe really light blue. That's, that's going to be okay too. And then you just drop these clear resin drops on top of it. It pushes the, um, it pushes the white resin aside and then it resembles sort of those uh, frothy things that happens when the waves come in. That's kind of cool. Only I don't see my little shell so I'll have to add some. Just a few more. Yeah, that's looking keeps looking better the more you add. But now I'm thinking why did I put sand on the bottom because um, <laughs> you can't see the sand. Oh, this is all experimental guys. And I think if I had more resin I would absolutely put some more resin in there. Of this clear stuff. Mm. Yeah, I, I think I would. But I don't have any more. But you get the idea. Now let me go find some little shells. I had a little pin set, which I have here. And even uh, though it's really cute, I won't be able to make another one until next year. <laughs> because I only got that many of these tiny ones. Don't fall over on me, go. 
lay in the resin like that. So that's uh, that's a shame. You know, I really only discovered these tiny ones uh, the last day I was on the island. There it is. Come on. They always want to go on belly up. Why do you want to go belly up? I don't know. No matter how you... Okay, it's in. So we get a little, few little shells there. That one closed with the pearl inside. Well, you know, I'm sure if you're going to do, do this, you will, um, you'll do it a little better than I did. I'm pretty sure. But this is, you know, just experimental. The first time you do stuff like this, you can't help it. It takes a little time. And you want to figure out, you know, what what exactly you're trying to do. See, but there it goes again. Just falls over. Doesn't want to stay like that. Okay, he's in. I'm going to leave it right like this. I'm hoping that this stays like that. This is it. I want to thank you all for watching my endeavor with C and a shell. And I will see you all in a bit. I will do one pour today and then I think I'll take the road trip. So I'll see you right back in a sec. Love you all to pieces. Bye bye.